<sighs> Still shell shocked from being only chapter two. I wonder how many chapters there are. I <laughs> hope there's not like ten. Oh god. <clears throat> Your electricity bill will be sent out 24th. Please make sure you have $8,000. It probably won't be too hard, to be honest. I was curious about a Dharma she saw. Okay. Let's let's go check that out real quick. Uh, a Japanese souvenir that has seen better days. To oh, yeah, sure. Easy. Got it. No problem. Yeah. Really focus on work. All right. Is there anything new? Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, July 4th, card announced. 6-6 six, six American Kid and Giant uh, Blood Feud. Uh, oh, is this like wrestling or like MMA or something? No, it's wrestling. Okay. Red Comet Jr. Oh? And who is that? The boss. <gasps> is that going to be the boss's little sister? Oh, interesting, interesting. Anna Camo is now making smart underwear. If you can, if underwear you can change with the voice command was something you really wanted in your life, <laughs> Nano Camo has you covered. Literally. Uh, they're not that bad. Alright. Expected. Admin has been arrested again. <laughs> the guy, he was like, God damn it, Alice, don't do this. Uh, with, the, with the new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin. Yeah, other than that, was, he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what, what, did they quote him? When inquired about the arrest, Furfur would only respond with the calm, not the shit again. <laughs> Feel kind of bad for him. Paolo, oh, oh. Media. Mm hmm. Watch their job. Game. Uh, how someone there. Uh, uh, base. Uh, explosion. There's an explosion. Okay, do we remember there being an explosion? The names, but it looks like not a group, just one person who said all. Hmm. Hackers helping out hostages to escape and they're suspecting of that. Ah. Uh. Someone doing some stupid shit has been for this decision has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the links? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption. Actually pretty unsettling, damn. File is available from approximately 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all of glitches to go Wow. The attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the server inside of the bank, which had the files under the... Oh. How do you even... Yeah. Uh, okay, it looks like I had to leave, but I'll try to write down all of the details. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed. Damn. Okay. I mean, I was right, and some shit just went down, but wow, like, way, way more. <clears throat> Good you, Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for not so many days without no notice. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happens. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what you're trying to come back to bite or what's coming to bite you in the butt. I remember there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried? Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? 
because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I could find it in myself to take it. Why? Probably because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. Uh, I see. I don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right? Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Well, I mean, of course I am. It's my job. It's not like I can't work because of it, but, you know. All we can do is whatever- All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Yeah. So cheer up! Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyways, let's start the day. Let's start it! Ba -da -da -ba -ba! Time to make strikes and change lives. Yeah, Gil. Hmm. Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me. I'm looking for Donna Zane. May I have your name? Hello, it's Brian. Uh, just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guy's looking for you! Tell him I'll be there in a bit! Bill, um... You heard her. It's alright. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the first first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Handle me like I'm just another client. Uh, Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Alright, a sugar rush, that should be pretty easy. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't notice. Actually, I'm not all that surprised. You know what? Oh yeah, sure. There you go. Little, little, little karma try. I'm surprised I didn't realize the, you know, whole BTC thing there, but, yeah. Ah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of one of the sugar rushes. Why? I like the fried eggs and mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. Can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. You never told me that. You're chill, right? Yep, that's me. Donna has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Hmm. Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. I'll mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information leak about during the Atrala Press Bank, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Ah, oh, excuse me. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it was apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. Not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. But if low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing, don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Mm. If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shitty drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. Oh, so much saliva. I only get my hopes up, though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Here. 
Let's give him a suplex. I wonder, was it the Red Comet's creation? Oh, maybe me thinks it was. All small but putting more emphasis on tug burning less. Aw, oh, kind of, maybe, sort of. The registry form said that this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Ah, uh, it's... Argen it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh. Hey. Uh... Sorry, Brian, I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in! I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me? Surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Uh, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. I still don't know what voice to give her. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. And give me a big beer, please. Uh, sure, on it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't like this. She seems very sad, and she's friends with Say, which can only mean one thing. Say is sad. Or worse, but I don't, I don't believe in worse. I just believe that Say is fine. I hope. Maybe? Are you sure you're fine? Um... You know say, right? Oh no, don't. Don't, don't, don't say what I think you're gonna say. Please, please don't say. <laughs> uh, of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and... Oh. Right. That. So, she... She didn't show up on the list of the mass body count on the aftermath, so I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd say to lo love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. Um, man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. Um, I mean, I could tell her everything will be all right, but that would sound a bit condescending. Um. What does one do in this kind of situation? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a joke? No, that'd be tasteless. <laughs> okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art Van- no, Vondelay. Oh, that Art guy? Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever they might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I can solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry for making you uncomfortable. No, sorry. It's not about feeling uncomfortable, it's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. <laughs> right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical. Useless, or just tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? I think sweets. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Let's give her something sweet. Ooh, what is good in sweet? Ooh, sparkle star. Yeah, let's give her a sparkle star. Uh, aged boom. There you go. There's your sparkle star. Here you go. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. 
Let's say it's more than a friend to me. She's... Um... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. Oh, oh. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually like that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. I use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. I would say I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job just because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still. Would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you can use some. Well, for given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Yo, Gil, can you please serve Miss Stella while I take my break? Sure, leave it to me. Wow, that was a- that was- That seemed like that- that episode went by real fast. Say, please be fine, no please?